Hello, it's Pastor Krista. Today we're going to read a book called Quiet in the Garden by, written and illustrated by Aliki. I wanted to read this book to you because part of our Bible story today um, involves Jesus going to a garden and he goes there to pray. And so I thought it would be nice if we had a, a story about a garden and I would uh, encourage you after we're done, maybe later on today, you could go outside and listen and see if you can hear the things that this boy hears. Okay, so it's called Quiet in the Garden. That has really nice pictures. Okay. I love to go out in the garden. I see flowers and bushes and berries and trees and a little pond. I sit quietly. If I am very still, I see more. see what it says. I am so quiet, I even hear sounds around me. Chirp, squeak, crunch. I can almost hear a butterfly flutter by. I sit still and listen. Today, a robin flew down and nibbled red berries from a bush. Why did you do that? asked a snail. I was hungry, said the robin, and off it flew. The snail ate holes in some leaves. Why did you do that? asked a butterfly. It's what I do when I'm hungry, said the snail, as it slid away. The butterflies sip nectar from the flowers. Why did you do that? Asked a worm. I was thirsty, said the butterfly, and it is so tasty and sweet. The worm squiggled in the soil to eat bits of plants and bugs. Why did you do that? Asked a squirrel. I was hungry, said the worm squiggling under again. Goodbye. I've never heard a worm talk, but maybe if we're listening, we can hear one. We listen hard. The squirrel crunched on an acorn. Why did you do that? Asked a spider. Ah, wah, 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 said the squirrel crunching away. I don't know if that's what, what a squirrel sounds like. What does a squirrel sound like? I don't know. The spider caught a fly in its web. Oops, said a turtle. Well, I am hungry too, said the spider as it ate the fly. Everyone's hungry at the, in the garden. I watched the turtle munch on a soft moss by a rock. Why did you do that, asked a lizard. I was hungry, said the turtle. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The lizard crawled along a wall and snapped up a moth. Why did you do that, asked a frog. I was hungry, said the lizard, and I couldn't wait until dinner time. The frog hopped up and caught a gnat. Why did you do that, asked a fish. I was hungry, said the frog, and I didn't want to eat you. <laughs> the fish nibbled some algae. Why did you do that, asked a mouse. I was hungry, said the fish, and it dove for more. The mouse crunched seeds, leaves, berries, and bugs in the compost heap. 
Why did you do that? asked my rabbit. I was very, very, very hungry, said the mouse, chomping on an apple core, and I still am. Do you see the mouse? He's eating in the compost heap. My rabbit nibbled on a leaf. I know why you did that, I said. My rabbit didn't say, it just munched away. Munch, munch, munch. I picked apples and berries and radishes, carrots, a cucumber, and more for a picnic with my friends. Who do you think he's going to invite to his picnic? Let's see. The robin, snail, butterfly, worm, the squirrel, spider, turtle, lizard, the frog, fish, mouse, and my rabbit. What a racket they all made. Buzz, nibble, chomp, chew, crunch, bite, sip, slurp, gulp, swallow, munch. We were hungry in the yummy, not so quiet garden with food enough for all. The end. And in the back, they have some good suggestions for us. It says, make your own quiet garden. A garden can be a flower pot, a window box, or a patch of soil. Sprinkle seeds, dig in a plant, or a cutting from a friend. Water every day, wait, wait some more, the sun will warm the soil, the water will make things sprout, your garden will grow, and birds and bugs and butterflies and other guests will find your garden. They will be so happy they you planted it and so will you. Thank you very much. That's my story, Quiet in the Garden, today. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week.